Namaste. This is your reading for the week of September 15th to the 21st. And I'm the Queen of Cups, Montreal. Uh, today I'm going to give you a reading. I usually do the layout first, dot down some notes, and then I can bring it to you guys in a concise manner. It's going to be about bullies, but some of you may not know I'm a crystal healer, certified crystal healer. So at the end, stay tuned because I'm going to give you some crystal suggestions that you may use this week to bolster yourself against any kind of psychic attacks or bullying, uh, things like that. So this week I'm doing a new spread. Um, it is not the universal uh, temple goddess temple spread. Um, so if you know the name of this spread, please let me know. Um, it's new to me, but I found it was really intuitive. So position one answers the question of what you will be needing this week. She's Akicha, the goddess of ice, and she indicates that this reading is for those of you who have been under attack, psychic vampires, bullies, partners that pressure us too much to get their own will and not consider what we need. Okay, this is what you're going to be faced with today. If you've been being faced with that lately, this um, reading would likely resonate with you. So if you've been feeling like a lot of pressure at work, school, in your relationship, in your family, this reading will likely resonate with you, okay? And position two answers the question of how to get started when it comes to taking a stand for your honor, okay? And this is the Greek goddess of the unknown. Um, and she's here to let you know that you must go within. She's in the position of the hermit, or this is represents the hermit. She's telling you you must go within to wage this battle. You have to strengthen yourself and your spirit, ground yourself. Stay tuned because, as I said, I'll have some crystals to help you do that at the end. Explore all the reasons why you deserve better um, treatment than you've been receiving, um, why it's worth making boundaries. It looks like you're going to be arguing your case this week, so I want you to be prepared in all ways and really steady yourself. What some of you may not know is I'm also a spiritual life coach. Okay, so with my readings, you don't just get a tarot reading and crystal suggestions. You're also going to get some really practical, holistic wellness tips. All right, so position three answers the question of what is needed to forge ahead with this journey. And this is the Japanese goddess of health. And she's here to let you know that you have to get in touch with your own dignity, growth, and prosperity. Okay, take note of the fact that you your boundaries your personhood is a war that's worth waging accept your inner worth you're deserving of abundance accept that you're beautiful inside and out and you deserve to live a life surrounded by beauty as well we all have our own mantras okay we all have mantras that resonate with us that are meaningful for us i want you to create your own this week i wanted to give you a few you can start with and build off of i am worthy I am enough, I am deserving. Okay, so just say this in the shower, on the way to work, before you go to bed. All right, that is a form of empowering yourself and it seems so simple, but most holistic wellness tips are. And once again, I'm going to give you some crystals at the end that'll help with that solar plexus that gets you in touch with your self-worth. Position four answers the question of what, will, who, what help you'll have on your side. Who's gonna be there for you this week? And Sif is a Scandinavian goddess that warns you about sheep and uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. As you can see here, this man just cut off her hair. Okay, a woman's crown, crowning glory. So that tells you be careful of people that are like frenemies, that tell you they're your friend but really don't want you to do better than them. Um, people that are threatened by your new empowerment, you would be surprised what kind of friends um, would be threatened by you empowering yourself? What kind of partners would be threatened by you empowering yourself? Okay? And try and cut you down as soon as they see you getting ahead. So be weary this week, please, of wolves in sheep's clothing, people who say you're friends, but once you start empowering yourself and asserting boundaries, seem to push back quite a bit. I want you to be wary of that. You know, like when our moms used to tell us, not everybody who says they're your friend is, that's who you're looking out for. There is a Celtic goddess, a fierce Celtic goddess, in position number five. She's here to tell you what challenges lay ahead. Okay, so she's here to warn you that the challenge will be waging a war, a battle, not a war. Okay, 
So that means once you start standing up to the group or the person you are in this tug of war with, you're going to have to keep reaffirming yourself. You have to keep reasserting yourself time and time again. Okay, you're going to need to reset those boundaries, reassert those boundaries, let people know you're serious until your adversary or just somebody that you love that keeps infringing on your boundaries um, realizes that this new empowerment is here to stay and gives you a little bit of room to um, be yourself. All right, so you need some um, crystals for courage, for manifestation. I'm going to have those for you at the end of the reading, as I mentioned. And then we have the Emperor, and she is Athena, because this is the Universal Goddess Tarot. This is the Boss B Tarot, as I call it. She is in position six to tell you what you will gain from this experience. I don't want to give you um, the wrong idea. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose acquaintances. Um, you might cause a little bit of, of, of upheaval. Change is uncomfortable. Staying stuck is painful, okay? So this week, some people will not appreciate your boundaries, but you will gain strength, wisdom, empowerment, courage, self-worth. Um, know that you're going to feel more empowered and more comfortable asserting your boundaries. Remember this, this is a little bit of my life coaching coming in. People will not like your boundaries and those people will be the wrong people. People that love you, people that respect you, people that value their role in your life will love and appreciate your boundaries because it tells them how to love you, how to give you what you need, how to be there for you. The wrong people will not like your boundaries because it means they can't take advantage of you, uh, they can't turn your no's into yeses, and they can't infringe upon like your personhood. So be careful, be wary. It's not easy to let go. I want you to keep an eye out for people that don't aren't happy that you're asserting yourself. People that aren't happy that you're standing your ground, okay? In position six, we have the winter solstice. She's here to tell you that there are struggles ahead, but you can overcome, all right? Just as winter comes, leading to darkness and bitter cold, it's also a time of renewal and rest that will lead to the birth of life again and again. How many winters have you lived through? How many times have you seen the spring bring flowers and trees and fruit? She's here to say you can be at peace during your upcoming trials, um, but around the corner is a new beginning, a new way to relate to people, a new way to feel worthy and love yourself and form self-acceptance, okay? So if you want a more in-depth reading, um, you can find me at queenofcupsintuitivereading.com. Um, please follow me on Instagram. There's going to be links on my YouTube landing page for Instagram and Facebook. We're almost at the part where I'm going to give you these crystals that will help you um, this week. All right. So here we are. Self-love. Here we have rose quartz. Great for self-love. Works really hard, well with the heart chakra. Love and acceptance of others. I have a nice piece of pale Amazonite here. Also very good for the heart chakra. We were talking about um, self-worth and courage. Okay, here I have some citrine and carnelian. All right. And you can just carry these around with you in your pocket, in your handbag, um, in your wallet. A little citrine in the wallet never hurt. Um, you know, you can also, certain crystals, you can make... Um, uh, an elixir using the indirect method is always what I recommend, but read up before you use make an elixir using the direct method. I will do a video on that soon. Um, and then we have also for the solar plexus and the sacral chakra, which is self-worth, courage, empowerment, some amber and some tiger's eye. Very good to carry along with you. Sleep with it under your pillow. And then any kind of dark crystal. Here I have hematite, but you can use um, red tiger's eye, black tourmaline, anything of that nature you can use. Um, if you go on my Etsy shop, uh, which is Morceau Decor, uh, you can, which I'll put a link to in the comments, you can end up getting crystals for grounding, courage, um, to root yourself, to ground yourself. And I have a new one out for self-worth. So this is all the ways you can get in touch with me. I want you to love all and harm none. This includes yourself. You are worthy. You are enough. And you are deserving. Um, as long as you keep watching, I will keep making these videos. 
And uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Namaste.